After powerlifting, you won't want to have beach muscles. You'll want to be stronger. Pushing to the max is powerlifting's main goal. Heavy lifting tears down the muscle, it rebuilds the muscle, so that next time you're able to lift more weight. Your adrenaline's running, you have passion, you love it, you're looking at possibly breaking a PR, getting better, all right? To me, that's what you want to strive for in life. You can spend all your life in the warm-up room talking about things and trying, but to me, that's not living. When I was first lifting, I was always just kind of following bodybuilding routines, you know, bench like three sets of eight and dumbbells and flies and all that stuff. And I think the good thing about that is you put on muscle. There's a lot of guys who come in and just want to lift heavy, but they don't fill out, and that's a problem. So learning how to, not just how to lift for volume, but how to, but I think when I, when I think about lifting like a bodybuilder, I think about making sure that you feel that the muscle's doing the work, you know, so you're feeling the motion, not just moving with power. You go to lift a heavy weight, one of three things are going to happen. You're going to make it, you're going to miss it, or you're going to get hurt. Two or three are not good, but one is awesome. That's why you want to strive for the chalk box. Get the hell out of the warm-up room. Find something that empowers you, like that chalk box, to be able to move forward with your career, relationships, family, business, whatever it is. Because that's where life happens. If you're too afraid to dig in, chalk up, that's fine. You know, that's your choice. You know, that's the majority of society. I'd like to empower you to be better. Learn. Learning is extremely important at all levels. I feel really lucky to be in the position I am at this point in my life and to be in this kind of physical shape and I see people who aren't that... I think there's a woman that goes to my church who uh, has a degenerative disease and she's uh, and I've done some weight training with her <clears throat> and she's so <clears throat> courageous and upbeat I just think you have an obligation to go out and do something with what you've been blessed with and when you're the guy under the bar you're the one that's got to hold the load ultimately you're the one in your life who's responsible you're responsible for your education. You're responsible for your success. I don't care what excuses you throw out. You give me any excuse in the world, give me a couple minutes, let me search Google. I will find somebody who had to overcome far more shit than you did and is better than you. So excuses are meaningless. We all know that. So don't use them because they don't work. First off, nobody cares. Secondly, all you're trying to do is to justify your own inadequacies. You should embrace them and try to make them better. I don't care what your faith is, what your beliefs are, what it is. To a certain degree, everybody has to have some type of self-belief or faith that no matter what happens, if you get knocked back, there's going to be a way that you're going to come back. There'll always be a way to come back up. There's always going to be a way to get back up when you get knocked down, to get back up when you're pushed back, to get back up when you stumble. There's always going to be somebody back there, your belief, faith, whatever it is. You have to have that belief, no matter how hard you get hit or what happens, you can move forward. Because with age comes wisdom only if you learn from where you screwed up.
my advice is as I've gotten older, you go through more shit. I think that just kind of comes with life. You can't try to take a path to avoid that. That's a path of avoiding getting on the platform and getting under the bar. That's avoiding the path of actually making the lift, having success. You will miss. Without a doubt, you will miss. You will screw up. You will make mistakes. You will have people, you know, stick a knife in your back. You'll have people screw you over. You're gonna, we've all been through it. Innocence gets stripped away real quick. That's not bad, that's growth. When you can learn to take shit and turn it into gold, that's education. That's learning. Lastly, you're the guy under the bar to come back to the beginning. We're going to push the limits to succeed.